Saturday, the relegation zone and Chris Hewton down a, a bit of strife at Carrow Road. Also, a big win for Aston Villa, alleviating a bit of pressure building on Paul Lambert from the Premier League. Right now, we'll go to Darren Lewis, our mate from the Daily Mirror over in London. And Darren, we'll start with the London club. Big news out of there this morning, I'd say, is surrounding a certain decision by Andre Mariner, meaning that West Brom get out of London without three points that they probably deserved in the end. What's the reaction been like for the two all draw at Stamford Bridge? The reaction has been huge, guys, over here. The lucky one on the back page of the Sunday Mirror. Uh, blue sheet, very strong on the back of the sun. And <laughs> the male pull no punches whatsoever. Dive, dive, dive is their headline because there is so much anger that West Brom were not able to pull off their first victory in the league at Stamford Bridge since 1978. They've already done it at Manchester United. And, you know, they've got off to such a good start, you know, um, Simon Leto scoring uh, in the first half. But they required West Brom in the second half, Shane Long with the header, and then they went ahead through Sessegnon, and they were rocking Chelsea. Look at this goal from Stefan Sessegnon exposing the poor defending at Stamford Bridge, guys. Uh, Bob, that is terrible goalkeeping, wouldn't you say? It is, and I was just going to ask you, Darren, and Mark Force has retired this week uh, from the Socceroos, but if, if Petacek continues like that, how long will it be? Um, until um, until Jose Mourinho uh, puts him in as number one? Well, it's a really good question because Thibaut Courtois is the Belgian goalkeeper on loan at Atletico Madrid. Um, and, you know, he's doing superbly there. The team is left behind, very disorganised at the back. And they were very lucky to get this decision. Have a look at this, Adam, and move on because yeah. there is nothing that Stephen Reid does wrong there. No, nothing at all. He just keeps along uh, in his, his path. And, uh, and I think Ramirez knows he's not going to get the ball runs into him. And uh, again, what we were talking about before was, was being influenced by home decisions. I think the, the referees have been influenced completely and given a penalty, a shocking decision. Well, Jose Mourinho now unbeaten in 66 Premier League games at Stamford Bridge. So uh, his record continues. However, Darren, I'll just uh, give you a look at this. Uh, this is Jose Mourinho when he actually uh, got unveiled as... Uh, Boss again, the happy one, if you like. What about him after this one? The stressed one. He's not good at doing that. He hasn't slept in about four weeks. What's going on with Jose? Is he all right? Well, I'm not surprised he looks a little bit haggard. You know, this is his worst start to a Premier League season with Chelsea. The defending isn't good. Going forward, they're excellent. But he knows that he's got it up. He, he really does have it through Arsenal. He's going great guns. We'll get to them in a second. Uh, City as well, also in the mix. And Spurs, Dark Horses, Andre Villas, both as young pretender. He's very much with an excellent defensive record. I'm going there this morning for their game against Newcastle. And so the pressure is on Jose Mourinho. It's not as easy to do it as it was the first time round. And I think that accounts for the reason he looks a little bit as though he could do with a nice meal and a hot bath. <laughs> and uh, just a quick one, one thing he didn't mention that it was the Southampton winners again, 4-1 uh, yesterday. Uh, Pochettino is having a fantastic time there. It's their best start uh, to a top flight season. You can get the Premier League any top flight season, largely because of the contingent of young, talented players and experienced players that Pochettino has put together. Ricky Lambert, you know, he scored with all of his 33 penalties for Southampton, called up again to the England squad this week. So to this man here, Adam Lalana. Look at this for close control and finishing. Guys, what do you think of him? Outstanding player. I think they've got an outstanding side, and, and, and we see now we're well into the season. I said this last week, Adam. You know, after you know, when you're talking about after a quarter way through the season, and they're still up there in the, in the top of the now the third, I think it is. Um, they're going to be there and thereabouts. They're a fantastic side who are very well managed. Yeah, Adam Milana came through the youth setup at Southampton with guys like Gareth Bale uh, and Theo Walcott and guys like that. So it's producing players that finally held on to one that's producing good things for his club. Speaking of good young players for his club, well, this guy has gone from just a, a part player almost with uh, Arsenal Football Club last season to becoming, if not the best player in the Premier League, very close to it. Aaron Ramsey, Daniel Garth caught up with the man of the moment recently to talk about where's this come from? <laughs> 